Good morning. In this video, I'm going to briefly look at a, a letter I received from a Brian Dengler, the supporter. And uh, I deleted the comment from the YouTube videos. I have it on my email. So uh, let me read to show you. Uh, this is someone named Constant Companion. Um, on the interracial marriage. It's not a sin in either testament. Someone is either paying you to do this uh, or you have you got issues yourself. Should be you have issues yourself. I have never seen anybody target another man whose only crime is he disagrees with you to bring him down. What kind of person are you? The man has done nothing illegal. He is using the internet to make a living. He's making he, he, this is important now, people. He's using the internet to make a living, like many others, uh, to, to uh, who do who do much worse. This is the type of level of education people are, that are following Brian Dengler. Uh, but the guy here, the person admits this is supporter of Brian Dengler. Admits it. He's using the internet to make a living. I think that there was. Uh, I think that if there really is a hell question mark, you're going to be the first in line. So I just thought I, sh I should have uh, just left the comment in the mail, start leaving them up and getting a bunch of comments in from these phony people. But it shows you the uh, the quality, the uh, intellectual level that Brian is getting, is supporting him. And I think maybe, from, maybe English is probably their first language. I'm not saying these people are dumb, I'm just saying that like, they just don't know English very well. But um, Clearly, the guy, the guy got one thing right. He's using the internet to make a living. You got that right, buddy. You got that exactly right. But the problem with Brian Dengler is he teaches false doctrine. That's the issue. As long as he's on the, coming in there teaching lies, like the inter, inter, uh, uh, racial marriage issue, he says it's a sin. You got to be out of your mind. And of course, what does he, what does he do? He, he leaves out portions of scripture that show exactly why interracial marriage was forbidden to Jews uh, for certain groups. Why? Because they were tainted with uh, spiritual issues. You know, the Moabites and others. They were really wiped out. I mean, you know, Balaam used the Moabites to seduce the uh, Israelites to get them into these uh, Balak cults. So that was a big problem with them. And uh, it really took a 70 year captivity in Babylon to really cure the Jews of this issue with idols. But the problem is, again, the, uh, it's not, it wasn't a racial issue, that was a spiritual issue. That's where these guys can't separate the two. You know? And they, you got, they bring their own personal issues into Christianity that, that they come from a background of some issue of segregation. And therefore, they, they want to make it, they want to bring the Bible into that issue and defend it with the Bible. I mean, Bob Jones University, we were welcome went, was segregated. You couldn't date, interracially date. And that was only recently, you know, uh, where they, the federal government forced that then because they were taking federal funds with the, the GI Bill and things. But that's, you know, that's just not getting changed by the word of God. That's bringing, your own, bringing in your own cultural baggage and not recognizing. Uh, and then what you do is, in that same video, by the way, uh, Brian says that the uh, the uh, the Bible uh, not only con condones uh, slavery but actually uh, in, in, endorses it, and uh, which is nonsense. Slavery was something that man had God dealt with and regulated it because he knew it in existence, just like divorce. But slavery only exists in money. So slavery was never, the, a lot of these people think that slavery was like, oh, it's okay, it's wonderful. <laughs> you want to be a slave. <laughs> so uh, the fact is, it is a reality. It still exists. It exists in the future until the, until the millennium. The millennium, slavery will not exist anymore. Uh, man was not meant to be under slavery. And the, the biggest uh, uh, attack on slavery is the King James Bible. That's what really started all the movements to free slaves and slaves because they saw they saw the reality of uh, in Christianity of course Christianity in, in general saw slaves as a brother the book of Philemon uh, and uh, you recognize the brothers and sisters in Christ but of course in the old back those days that wasn't racial there was never racial slavery in the original uh, slavery can racial issue uh, in the recent slavery with the 18th century uh, issues but again yeah you got a guy I'm um, getting 
more and more of these people come up about leave Brian alone type of thing. And uh, but he's a false teacher, and he gets up there and wants to pretend he's teaching and if he's leaving things out and not looking at the scriptures uh, in the entirety, not even looking at them dispensationally. So hopefully that will clear up some of these things. But uh, now Brian comes on with some more false doctrine. I'll be dealing with them. Amen. Thank you.